Hi. Welcome back to Candid Adventures. I'm Chris. And I'm Elizabeth. And today's a little bit different. If you notice in the back of the truck here, there's no camper and there's no boat and there's no fishing rods and there's no Mona. It's because today we're trying to show you a little behind the scenes of how we, we're going to try to make money to keep our dying channel afloat. So today we're actually going to be traveling about an hour to go to a liquidation center and maybe purchase a pallet. We've been flipping things. We've been flipping items on eBay for about a month now and we're making okay money and we're hoping that this can be our full-time job so we continue to make YouTube videos. So today's going to be a little bit different. Let's get down here and see if we can find some interesting pallets to flip. People really like unboxing videos on YouTube and the mystery of what can come in a pallet, which is basically anything that's overstock or returns from any major like company or outlet. So let's go throw a handful of money at a mystery <laughs> pallet of garbage. Come along for the ride. So part of this venture is keeping track of the miles and the gas that we're putting into buying this stuff for uh, e-commerce or flipping for profit. So we keep track of the odometer and how far we're traveling, how much gas money we're spending to go towards this venture so you can actually write it off on taxes for the next year. Oh, not yet. No. Hi. So we've never been here before, um, and we're just interested. Is it you just kind of look around at a pallet and then? Yes. So, <laughs> so anything from these orange racks towards the office okay. is what's available. Um, everything should be labeled with a green price sticker. Okay. okay. If it's a yellow price sticker, we go by yellow. It's a clearance deal. Okay. Um, anything that has this red tag on it has already been claimed and sold. Okay. okay. Um, these are all brand new, just came in, so they don't have stickers on them yet. Okay. okay. Um, other than that, yeah, if, if you see a pallet you like, you should let us know. We'll put a red sticker on it and we'll pull it up. And okay. And this uh, this is no like haggling, is it? Is it? Is it just the just the price, the price whatever is on labeled it? on there? It just depends. Okay. 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 So if maybe it's older or something. Right. Or it's, okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Let us know if you have any questions. Okay. All right. <laughs> what? Oh, this is just a box of the same thing. What is it? The blue thing? Hmm. What's this blue thing? It's a tablecloth. <laughs> it's a whole box of this same tablecloth. These would be easy to ship. Yeah, they already come in their own box. We made it back. The truck didn't break down this time. Now we're going to start unloading this thing. We spent $700 on two pallets and hopefully we can at least recoup our money. But our goal is, is to triple our money so that we can do this as a, uh, a job side hustle while we continue to make this YouTube channel work. But at least, you know, doubling your money is a good range, which would, you know, be $700 of profit. These pallets are a total gamble. And we saw some items on here like this inflatable sauna. Um, we got these pallets for 350 a piece or 700 in total. This thing goes for 400 new, so it's a gamble. 
maybe it's busted and torn to hell and maybe it's in awesome condition and we can resell it. Uh, there's some Black & Decker stuff on here, cordless stuff. So we saw some stuff of value on here. Now let's tear this thing apart and we're gonna go through and see what the value is on each of these items, what they're going for on eBay and see if we can get a total. Let's get this thing unloaded. Commercial mop bucket. Uh, oh, it even has the wheels. If, Whoa. I think if you're an adult human and you've never worked at a job where you had to work a mop bucket, that you need to go back and have to redo it again. Uh, I've worked a bunch of jobs where you, you have to be real familiar with these bad boys. Um, is it supposed to bend like that? Uh, no, it looks like the, the squishy handle part. Uh, it's still operational. But, but it, just bent. It's bent. That can be, I'll, I'll tweak that back. Yeah, I see a theme here. Here's another one of these commercial grade mop buckets and it also uh, has Ooh, this one has duct tape on it has a bent handle so it must have been <laughs> uh, must have been some rough shipping or something on these bad boys but hopefully they're still worth something so this was one of the ones that we could see from you know the outside of the pallet and it's a brand new igloo 150 quart cooler oh that'd be awesome in the boat especially if you're a saltwater fisherman or got a bunch of friends at the lake yeah that's brand new i don't see any problems with that no so this is good i think for sam's club the price is a hundred dollars but outside of sam's club if you don't have a membership it's closer to 130 to 150. Ooh. <laughs> most excited about this <laughs> this is a hoverboard um i don't know if it works i'm very it's up to 80 pounds so it's not for and not for a full adult, but I'm very excited about these. I never actually ridden one. They seem like they're a blast, but. Seems like it works, it fired right up. And it comes with a charging cord. It has all the pieces in the box. Oh, there we go. What is it? That is three copies of the ultimate infographic guide to the Bible. And there's a sticker on there for $17.88 a piece. So. Okay, we we'll, can work with that. We'll see about that. Now the nice thing about some of these, this is all Walmart and Sam's Club returns is that on the receipt, it says why they returned it. And this one says just customer dissatisfaction, but it looks like it's all there. All the pieces, it's still in the original wrapping. So maybe that's worth something, Black & Decker coffee pot. So this is a broken plastic trash can filled to the brim with random items. What do we have? This is some blinds. blinds that look like it may be damaged a little bit on the end. Some house blinds, very wide. That's rich people windows that wide. <laughs> This is from Puerto Rico. Half of this pallet is from a Walmart in Puerto Rico. So con corrosion and the uh, uh, raison for returning is that. So <laughs> kind of funny that this stuff came all the way from Puerto Rico. It is uh, rusty silverware. <laughs> this was also from Puerto Rico, a Black & Decker deep fill sandwich maker. Whoop. All right, more window blinds. Okay. Oh no, this is the rod, the curtain, curtain rod. Oh, this is the window blinds here. Yeah, this is a curtain rod. Reason for return damage. Now there's a lot of damaged window blinds. I'm wondering if there was a damaged pallet in Puerto Rico and everybody brought their stuff back. Here's a Continental steam dryer. And it says reason for return on the Walmart label here is damaged. Let's see how damaged they mean or if they were lying to us. Oh, nope, the steam part's broken. So that will be trash. That's unusable. Win some, you lose some. Now here's something pretty interesting and uh, should sell fairly easable, easily is a Ozark Trail 10 by 10, 100 square feet instant canopy. Oh, it says store use on it. Maybe this was the display. So that's pretty cool. That should sell really easy. It's it's uh, May right now here in North Carolina and stuff like this should sell pretty easily on Facebook Marketplace. This is a screen house. So like a mosquito Ooh. screen setup a 13 by 9 foot screen house all right we have a programmable coffee maker also black and decker and reason it was returned was damaged but this one is still looks to be in all the original wrapping with the cardboard and the plastic so we'll see on that one this also says damaged from puerto rico <laughs> this is a multi-use rice cooker Pressure cooker is probably not the best thing to be damaged to be cooking with. Box fan also says damaged, but maybe people just say damaged just trying to get their money back for an item. We're basically gonna have to plug a lot of this in just to see if it works. We got a Black & Decker cordless 20 volt lithium string trimmer. So this is gonna be the piece de resistance here. And luckily, its receipt, um, which is a big win for us, 
its what receipt it say? says... Change my mind. Yep, so hopefully <laughs> change my mind doesn't mean... Broken. We broke it and it, uh, you know, there's something sticky inside of it. We've got a little assortment of uh, plastic storage shelves, which we may end up just using for ourselves <laughs> to it organize does, Oh, all it has of this. the poles, okay. Yeah. So it can go vertical. I was worried it didn't have these poles. All right, don't speak Spanish, but on this deep fat fryer, uh, no funk Shona, I'm <laughs> guessing <laughs> no funk Cena or funk Shona is not a, good, not a good term. That looks delicious, so that's a, that's a bummer. But maybe it works, we'll plug it in. So that was pallet one. It was originally listed for $400, but because we got a second one, the guy dropped the price down to $350 per pallet. Okay, that's already a pretty solid win right there. <laughs> what is it? It's like a super soaker. Ooh. Okay, so this one, um, I knew what it was because I've sewed before, but this is batting to go inside of blankets for people that uh, make their own blankets or quilts. And this can't really go bad or be broken, so I think we can get some money out of this. Um, rarely can you buy these whole rolls they usually give you by yard. So this might be um, a good chunk of money. That's pretty badass. A <laughs> actual boogie board brand boogie board from Whammo. I don't actually um, think I've ever had a boogie brand boogie board brand before. That's pretty awesome. Whoa. It is really wedged in it. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a glider bench in black. Whoa. Now that will have some value. Yeah. I think we looked those up. We saw this peeking out and knew these are worth about $200 and it looks yeah 200 to 250 this looks so. brand new so between this and the spa we could almost probably make our money back. make our money back which is good and the reason they return this black and decker string trimmer is muy ajo <laughs> Or, uh, so I, I guess they just didn't meet oh, their yeah yeah something didn't meet their satisfaction, but it looks to be complete in box. So another string trimmer. And it's it's lawn mowing season here, so hopefully this will sell pretty quickly on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I, is this one written in Spanish too? No, this one's English. I oh. think we're to a United States co continental Alex. United States based <laughs> store now for our Walmart. This is a pole saw, which Ooh. is uh, I don't know if it's cordless. Yep. Rooted online return. It's a 20 volt max cordless eight inch pole saw. So these should sell pretty good. Uh, awesome for pruning at spring. I don't know if the battery's included. Oh, another canopy. Ooh, is this one pretty good? I don't see receipts on it. it just says return center. Ooh, okay. This has potential. So this should, be, this should sell really quickly too. Wow, what is this? This is a mystery box. We. We didn't, we can't see the inside of this one. So this is a surprise. A smooth move baker's box? What is, what a, is a baker's box? Banker's. banker's box. What is a smooth move banker's box? Smooth move prime medium. That's all of the it's description. Ne it's never been opened. Ooh. It looks like there's a box inside a box. It just says they delivered it, but uh, the receipt here just says that it arrived late and that they didn't need it by the time it got there. And it's all- Oh, the... it's boxes. <laughs> Whoa. It's, it's a box full of cardboard box boxes. It's a box of boxes. Well, they're like big moving boxes. That's super awesome. Wow. Whoa. Medium size. So that's the least exciting thing that could have possibly <laughs> been. So here is a personal trimmer, groomer, oh. um, which may have been resealed. I don't know what the market is on that and I can't read the receipt. This is that awful packaging that you have to cut because it's all sealed, vacuum sealed all the way around and it's just that super thick plastic. It just looks like the contents were damaged. All right, here's one of the big things we're excited about that could be a money maker and help pay for the pallet itself is this Shark brand vacuum. And let's, we've been waiting to read the return receipt on this and see what it says. Please not damaged. And it is return reason no longer wanted fulfillment type delivery so so it could work i think these sell we looked them up they're like 200 to 30 or something like that so hopefully our 700 dollars between the sauna the slider and this and the cooler and the cooler i think will have paid back everything and maybe even a little profit and anything else we sell should be pure profit yeah an electric pencil sharpener Whoa. Um, I can't imagine that has a ton of value. 
indoor smart camera. Ooh. This one doesn't have a receipt, so I'm not sure. All right, we have a four-tier multi-purpose cart. Looks like a laundry thing. Oh, um, it storage. was originally nine eighty-six, <laughs> um, and then to mark down to six dollars and something. So we might this might be a yard sale item for us. Yeah. <laughs> Digital ceramic heater. I'm not sure why in Puerto Rico you need. Well, this that. one wasn't from Puerto Rico necessarily, right? Oh yeah, it might be mixed. Yeah, we can't read the receipt. There's a sticker on it. Look at that nice little lumbar cushion for a chair. Oh, look at that. There's nothing wrong with that. No, people love that. It's cooling gel too. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at that, a Stanley Ooh, jumper what's box. That? Potentially worth money. Oh, it's got a built-in charger here. Okay. US, it's got four USB ports. So really we just had to plug this in to see if it works. And it's a compressor. Ooh. Oh, it's got a tire pump. It's an inflator and a jumper box with USB ports. It just doesn't have a, oh, it turns on. And it turns on. Oh, it's a mini basketball hoop that Whoa. goes on the edge of a trampoline. That's super cool. I guess you could kind of put it on anything if you wanted. We also saw this uh, slip out of the side when we were loading it and we thought it was really cute, a uh, little beta tank. And then upon further inspection, of just opening it for a quick glance, it is completely broken. So wah, wah, wah. no fish can live in that. Little oven mitts. Those look like straight to donation. Or maybe yard sale items. Yard sale. Sur la table. Sur la table. The only reason I know about this whole company is from that South Park episode. There's three more. Oh yeah. All different colors. So our plan was to have a yard sale pretty soon anyway. Um, we stay pretty mobile at Candy Adventures, don't live in one place too long. So anything that's just we don't think would sell well on ebay i think we'll at least be able to sell in the yard sale and pick up a couple of dollars got some size eight. Oh, they still got the tags on them. oh yeah look Nine at the West. stretch on those bad boys i might could slip into those <laughs> these look like um feet to a tv well they are but we didn't get the tv nope oh another one. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> let's see what's in this fedex box we we were worried about what was in this because it's very light. Because um, we're not going to sell like return bedding or anything like that. So let's see. What is this? It is like cotton filler. Oh, like cotton batting. Yeah. Um. So this is also for people that sew or do crafts. This is literally a whole bag of like stuffed animal fluff. So maybe there's a um, local person that sews or quilts or something that will be interested in this and the role of batting. Yeah, it might be a good Facebook marketplace. It's, I mean, it's also sealed, so it should be okay. Look at this fun little doodad. It's a kid's farm playhouse. Oh, wow. It still has the little people. That is definite yard sale material. It's so cute. Surely at a yard sale we could pick up some money for that. Yeah, that's cute. It still has, maybe there was missing one thing here. So this was gonna be hit or miss. We could see that there were hoses, but obviously uh, you can't sell a hose if it has a leak in it. So this one also has a receipt and you can't read it if there's a sticker on it. Oh baby, you're gonna be so excited. The reason why we had six of those oven mitts is because we got a whole box. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Check that out. These are, I mean, these are kind of nice. They have that like grippy silicone stuff. Yeah, maybe or, maybe somebody will sell, pick these up for 50 cents a piece or something like that. Yeah, and they come in different colors. Yeah, and they're brand new. Yeah, they're, they're not just, used. They just overstocked, didn't sell. So we've got a bunch of string trimmers in here. Yeah. Um, it looks like they used them until the string trimmer got sucked back up into the head of the string trimmer and then they didn't know how to refill it which is what i'm hoping and then i can put some string in it and sell them as functional because they're gas powered string trimmers oh i was wondering what these were for wait a second okay yeah it's the white plates the yeah so adjustable. i saw these on the bottom those are pretty expensive okay so we have the main part at least in some plates some weights it's almost a whole set. 
We're missing one, maybe? Missing one, which could still be in the bottom of that box somewhere. It could, because guess what? There's another oven mitt in there. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Something like that. Would you like look that. at that? Well, would you look at that? Yeah, it could still be in here. Who knows? We've had hmm. <laughs> TV foot stands, wheels for something, and that. Ooh. All right. We have yeah. another hose. Yeah, it's this very one, wet. This one says heavy duty. It might be um, a 50 footer. They changed their mind on it. Ooh. So <laughs> potentially not leaky, or they just lied and just checked a different box. We have another ceramic digital heater. Um, it's a hot item in Puerto Rican Walmart. It is, and the receipt is covered, so no idea. Might work, we'll plug this stuff in. All right, we have a Sentry Safe drawer safe, and on the receipt it says damage because no sierra, which means it does not close. Whoa. So it kind of defeats the purpose of um, a safe. Nice little Black & Decker gas-powered string trimmer. It looks, it doesn't look that bad. So we'll definitely update this video with if any of this power equipment works. or electronic equipment works. Woo! I have no idea what this is. Oh, oh that's a steering a, wheel lock. That's a club. Do you no, remember those? Steering wheel lock. Yeah, they used to call them the club was the actual name for them back in the 90s. Oh. Um, used to be on TV commercials all the time. So. Oh, maybe um, it's because this piece is supposed to be attached to this end here. Oh, it's broken, yeah. Yeah. That's so for sure broken. This piece is uh, broken from here. That's so. not a good look for a <laughs> hyper-tough branded item that's supposed to keep your car from getting stolen, uh, that the cheapy crap metal, pot metal there is broken. So maybe don't buy a hyper-tough anti-theft device. This one also has a receipt and says hazardous on it. Maybe because it has had gasoline in oh, it. Oh, maybe. If it's not locked up, sometimes I worry about with these returns is these two cycle things is people don't put mixed gas. They just put straight gas in them. But it turns over. It's not locked up. So it can't be something too awful bad. Okay, we are almost empty in this box here. This last big item is a giant instant pot, multi cooker and air fryer. And it has a shipping label on the outside. So I think it was an attempted home delivery from Sam's Club. That's a huge instant pot. Yeah. So there is a receipt, and they didn't fill out the reason why it was returned. It's blank. Curious about this. Whatever is in this Walmart bag did not meet expectations is and it, it's purple and fuzzy. Whoa, is it wet? <laughs> I hope I it's hope something. Not. Oh, this is something from a brony. No. If you don't know what bronies are, Google it right now. Wait, are these car seat covers? This might be for bronies. That's going in the truck. That's a car seat cover. That might be worth just keeping. <laughs> I don't know how that that can how that couldn't meet your expectations. Oh my god, it's a purple furry car seat cover and then this is the the headrest. Oh, we got to put this in something. It match it match this old go right here pretty good. It would it's got to go in something. And it I mean it has a um, it has everything technically. We got to try it. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, we got to try this. And it, I mean, it has all the parts, two seat covers and two headrest covers. I don't know covers. how that couldn't meet your expectations. This, what were you this expecting? exceeds expectations. Fuzzy purple. It's very soft. It, I don't think it's ever been used. Why would you not want to sit on <laughs> Grimace's lap on the way to work every day? Who's that? Grimace. Grimace. The monster from McDonald's. That used oh, to... oh, the big purple yeah. one. Okay. I didn't know his name. Used gloves, probably from people that filled this <laughs> palette. Yep. That's uh. <laughs> As someone who used to work in a warehouse, that is a pretty common practice to finish off your gloves and leave them for the next guy. And a box of pads. Oh. Which I think maybe somebody needed an emergency pad in a store and yeah, opened uh, some. Oh, that's that's a fun way to end so this. That's not, a fun way to end this. It is the last thing in the box. <laughs> well, okay. So there's potential to at least, I think, make our money back. If the spa actually works, we have the cooler, we have a couple canopies, we have some of these weed eaters or trimmers, 
possibly a multi-cooker instant pot, an air fryer, some sewing stuff, some hoses. So I think we can at least get our money back despite all of the damaged stuff. Yeah, we're at least gonna break even. This, this swinger chair right here. Oh, and the vacuum, the, the power shark tools, vacuum. The shark vacuum and our inflatable spa right here. I think we'll ensure we're, we're gonna make our money back, but as far as a profit, we're gonna have to see where this goes with uh, all the rest of the items being a complete, complete guess, including this uh, instant pot right here. So all in all, not bad for our first effort. And I've never done this before. Yeah, so I would say, would I buy a random pallet from Walmart? Probably not. Um, I think there's other companies that uh, don't really load up as much damaged goods. Like um, we got kind of got the inside about Target. Some of the people that ship out Target stuff, they go through it a little bit. So maybe only 85% of the stuff is good and 20, 20, 15%, that's the math, is damaged. Um, so yeah, we'll see if this one can be fruitful and maybe we can try a different company. And if you guys are interested in this kind of content, this is not what we normally do. We're normally traveling and exploring, fishing, camping, hiking, truck camping, adventuring. But if this is something you guys would be more interested into watching, we were thinking about making a second channel where we show you all our side hustles on how we make money to fund our main channel. So basically it's going to be like these pallet runs, um, estate sales or yard sales, and I've been looking at online auctions too. So we're kind of dabbling just to see if this will work for us. We've made a, a little bit of money so far and it, it could potentially go somewhere if we uh, keep putting effort into it. So that's it. All right, we're gonna wrap this up and show you guys some of this stuff, uh, if it works <laughs> or doesn't work. And then we're gonna show you some estimated values of what we think we're gonna get for this stuff. So yeah. if you like this stuff, uh, please, Click like and subscribe somewhere down here. Somewhere. And uh, if you do, we'll continue to make this and probably push it on a second channel. So yeah. thanks for watching. <laughs>